We've come down to look at the new Nash bivvy, latest and greatest, the S7. You've produced some awesome bivvies over the years, but with the Titan, the profile. How did it all start for you? Started, I think, 1979, 80. Started, yeah, I started doing storm sides then. Um, then that evolved to the famous Zig Rap, you know, which completely threw over the top of our umbrellas. We sold thousands of them, you know, all over Europe. Then I thought up the idea of the oval umbrella. Um, on a park late once when my umbrella broke and I'd dustbin bag over my feet and <laughs> a couple of kids come round. Um, seems to be disgusted with my setup and I thought, well, why, didn't, you know, why can't an umbrella be right over the bed chair? Then the profile from there, which was even bigger, as you say, and then the Titan, the one that changed everything. That was like the first bivvy with the arms on the outside, wasn't it? First bivvy with the arms frame on the outside, but mainly the first bivvy that had a rigid frame. So this is where you've got to now then, as far as technology is concerned? Yeah, this is the S7, as you say, as far as technology is concerned. There is a bit in this, actually. Um, firstly, let me talk about the frame. It's the Pramwood type, but I think where this is different is its pleasing curved shape. Um, I've always thought all the domes uh, on the Pramwood design look ugly. You know, they curve up and then they've got a straight peak on them. Yeah, you know? it may as have a nice curved shape by lifting the middle up so it's higher in the middle, and that's something angles appreciate a bit more headroom inside. Definitely. And then dropping the front bar so you've got even more door shelter. Okay. But the big thing is the material. Um, it's only been out two months and we've been given the exclusive use for the fishing industry it's called Aquasense and it's blowing me away quite frankly um, if someone had said to me this fabric does what it does I would have said you're talking rubbish unless I've seen it myself you know when a bivvy's cold and wet it goes saggy yeah yeah that's because all fabrics stretch and relax when they're cold and wet yeah and particularly relevant with bivvies, not only don't they look nice, but where you get the ridges, the condensation, the inside sliding down, collects on the ridges, and that's how you get condensation drip, yeah? Or the other thing is when they're hot, they stretch. That puts pressure on the waterproof seams, okay? And that's one of the reasons you get tape lift, yeah? This stuff, it adjusts itself to the climate. We had one up outside with snow all over it, and, and I stopped dead in my tracks. It, you know, I expected it to be all saggy, but it has that literally tightened a bit, and we can tell by the, you know, the amount of distance on here. So it does the opposite of any other material. But in, in, and then in hot weather, it relaxes slightly. It more or less stays this tension: summer, winter, rain or snow. That's Unbelievable! Mad, it? it is mad. It is mad. If you want to halve the weight, you halve the weight of the material. You halve the weight of the material, it won't have the strength, the durability, or the insulation. Fully uh, fitted, this is 20 odd kilo, but that's all the spec. Yeah, but yeah. compared with others, it's a kilo or two over. But I think it's worth it because you've got the extra durability, but more importantly, you've got the insulation. You'll never need to throw a skin over this. You know. This is the full kit version, uh, which Certainly I and you and most anglers would probably only use in really bad winter weather. You've got this zip front, uh, it's got the windows underneath, storm windows, okay. Uh, and I see it as, as I say, extreme winter use, you're getting more insulation and you've got somewhere to store boots, cooking gear and everything else. So now you've got what I would describe as your most of the year bivvy, you know, spring through to autumn where you've got your porch to protect your door and you've got your waterproof front, okay? Yep. Yeah, again, it's got windows in it if they want to look out of it. So, one waterproof infill, now two. Right, now that one can come off. I won't bother taking it right off. So now, second uh, uh, waterproof infill's down and we have the capsule. For anglers who don't know, this is the same concept as our double tops, we're the first to do it, where your twin skin mesh capsule is incorporated actually into the cover, yeah? Right. Whereas designs before that, they'd had the mesh on the frame and have to throw a waterproof cover over the top, twice as long to do it, and can be awkward in a strong wind, yeah? This is a one put up operation, the same as the double tops. But what is different about it, so you've got your mesh capsule, have it all down, mozzies, whatever, can't get in. But this has never been done before. You can drop your mesh front. 
So now you've got an all summer open shelter, yeah? You get a night, you know those summer nights, Joe, when it can go cold and you get condensation? Yeah. yeah? But we haven't actually managed to get this to drip yet, but you've still got your insulated twin skin, yeah? A night when the mosquitoes are biting, you just zip up that front. Brilliant. And as I said, rain comes in, you just put that front on and you've got your door sheltered by the, uh, by the ca uh, canopy. Cold weather, put your outer one on and you've got all the storage space. Or you could take all the rest out, just keep the outer one and have more space. <laughs> yeah? Mega, innit? So many different options, isn't there? Yeah. Um, another thing I'll point out, it comes with this heavy-duty clipping ground sheet and then the mesh capsule sits on top. The relevant to what I'm saying here is, I think a lot of anglers don't realise when they go abroad, if they've got a sewn-in bivvy, ground sheet sewn in, it's illegal. The gendarmes will chuck them off because really? it's deemed as camping. Yeah, you need to know that. That's, in some countries, for example, I believe Holland's one of them, we can't sell a bivvy with a sewn-in ground sheet because <laughs> they just won't buy it because they know the gendarmes will push them on. So this one suits every market, every legislation, yeah, because it's a clipping ground sheet or it's sewn in for the, you know, for the countries that want it or where they can uh, get away with it, yeah. So no gendarme could ever chuck you off. You just say, well, it's clipping, mate. Just point to that. Just unzip it. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> so it covers everything. In the back uh, is our rear vents and other ideas, which I think everyone's doing now. But it's amazing with that vent opening in the summer, how much airflow you get through. Yeah. What sort of price are you looking at for something like this? There's two models, Joe. The S7 Professional, which is a smaller one. Uh, I'd say a one-man bivvy. That's 539. And then there's a larger one, which is what we call a one-and-a-half-man, yeah? Uh, that's uh, the S7 Max 1, and that's, I think, 580. You have to wait a little while. Um, they're just being finished now. You've got to go on the sea. Um, I reckon May, probably end of May, uh, should have them in the shops first week in June. Excellent. Mm. Well, I'm really impressed with that, I must say. Um, be nice to see it put through a bit of English weather, wouldn't it? Well, I'll show you how the S7 performs in a bit of English weather, Joe. I brought my friend, Farman Sam, down. Get out of the way! <laughs> I know you don't get showers like that in England, Joe, but with climatic change, you never know, mate. But that was a test and a half, wasn't it? And look at this material. See what I mean? The aqua sense has sensed the rain, and it's actually tightened slightly. Yeah, is not it? It's mad, isn't it? I never thought I'd actually be impressed by a bit of material, but that stuff's awesome. Yeah.